Listen, it's been a minute since we did a dupe video, but we need to talk about these designer shoe dupes. The internet calls these dupes, but back in the day, these things were knockoffs, and Steve Madden been doing this. In fact, there's been a number of lawsuits filed, some of which have been settled against the shoe giant over the decades. Now, while each suit had, you know, different circumstances and outcomes, the reason why companies like Steve Madden are able to dupe these things in the first place is because it's not very easy to copyright things like shoes, handbags, Eggs, clothing, accessories, etc. Because it has to pass through a certain set of criteria. And you know, from my understanding, it's very, very hard to establish that. Because for instance, this is a handbag. It's a use, it's what they called a useful item. So companies like Steve Madden, while you know, they might be able to get you a handbag that's shaped like this, they clearly cannot put the Chanel name on it or the Chanel logo. You know, there's layers to this, but I'm not an intellectual property lawyer, so we're gonna leave that to them and we're gonna get into these dupes. Now, to make this video even more interesting, I ain't open most of these boxes. Now, some of them I did open because I had to be like, Ooh, what, what all is in there? Did they send me all of the shoes? However, these top two, I have not opened. We gonna open it up together. Hopefully they are the matching dupe because one is the real item and then one is the dupe. All right, this is the Steve Madden. I know because it says Steve Madden. Okay, and this is what I think it is. Oh, it's not what I think it is, but that's okay. They still go march on. So let me make sure I have the stats here. Oh wow, these look nicer in person than I thought they were gonna look like. So these are the Steve Madden Brie in the black lace color. They're $109.95 and they come in five colors. So these are kind of given both the Dior Jador sling back, but it's also giving the Fendi Colibri pump, right? I like these. They look they look like a nice, well-constructed shoe. It's crazy that I'm gonna say it's not something that's my style, even though I do have the Fendi. Calibri pumps, but I'm gonna say it's not my style because of the lace. I don't really have anything in my closet that would go with this, but we are going to match these up and see how they compare to the Fendi. I don't have the Dior. I would say looks wise, these probably look a lot like the Dior Jador, which retail for $1,450 for the Dior Jador. And then the Fendi Calibri are $995. So this is $109.95 and you know, the others is a thousand, what, th about a thousand dollars and about $1,500. All right, first things first, these don't slide on the foot as easily. You might need to size up now, which is weird because I'm a size 10 all through and through. Like I think like my foot is like the perfect size 10. So when something is a little snug, it's the shoe, it's not my foot. <laughs> but these you might need to, I don't I don't think that Steve Madden does half sizes. If they do, I would say a half size. Nah, this I feel like I need a, like, God damn, why are they trying to murder my feet? And I just lotioned them up. So it's like some lubrication in there. All right, other than that, I do find these to be very cute. They are very much giving the Dior Jador sling back in terms of style. Now I've never even tried on the Dior Jador pump because I ain't trying to tempt myself. <laughs> you know, the Fendi is enough and I have two pairs of the Fendi in, in different colors and I wear one way more than I wear the other. So I, I definitely don't need to be buying shoes that cost over a thousand dollars that I'm not wearing that often. These are cute. The lace feels a little itchy on my toes but they're they're cute. I would say maybe go up a size. Let me put on the Calibri, which kind of looks like this so we can compare. Now, I have owned these Fendi Calibri pumps for, when did I get these? I probably got these in 21. Yes, I definitely got them in 21 because I remember getting them just before I had my 40th birthday party. So these shoes are almost three years old. They'll be three years old in, or I've had them for three years in August. They are one of the most comfortable pair of heels I have worn in life. Like they, they, they just, they just feel really good. And especially comparing them to having the, the Steve Madden ones on the other side, whereas the Steve Madden ones feel like they're very, very narrow in the toe box. Whereas the Calibri is also quite narrow, but I think because the, the material that the Calibri toe box is made out of allows it to stretch a little bit more than, you know, whatever the Steve Madden is made out of. 
Now the thing is, that is a huge jump. To go from, I believe these are $109.95, I, I can't tell you right now because I got my phone down here, you know, capturing the foot, the foot images, but it's a huge jump to go from the $109.95 that the Steve Madden are to the almost $1,500 that the Dior Jador slingbacks. Even though the Fendi ones are just under $1,000, that's still a huge jump. I would say maybe if you get the size up with the Steve Madden, it wouldn't be that bad. Looks wise, I think it's, it's super cute. It gives that look of the Dior Jador without that price tag. Let me know what your thoughts are. Would you do the Dior? Would you do the Steve Madden? Or would you do the Fendi? Let me know in the comments and I'm gonna link all three in the description. All right, let's see what we have in here now. All right, now, this I obviously knew was Steve Madden. I don't the unboxing of the Steve Madden shoe being this nice. I think they've stepped their game up a little bit. Cause weren't the boxes black and white and they were like a kind of like, boxes were kind of flimsy if I remember. These are the Steve Madden Selena in black. They're $69.95. They also come in a cognac color. These are a dupe for the Ugg Tasman slippers, which are $110 and have gone viral on the TikTok. Like the kids is like, mommy, daddy, you know, I want them shoes. I gotta have them Uggs. And then wearing something like this, like a slipper, seems kind of odd to, to me because a lot of times, I after I have a slipper for about a month, two months or so, I wound up having to throw it away because like the fur on the inside gets all eaten out and then it doesn't feel good it's like no matter how much I dry my foot after a shower there's always some sort of a little bit of dampness that's get that gets in and then my feet sweat on you know on top of that so I'm just like Ugh. so to me it doesn't make sense what I do for a house shoe is I wear Crocs and these are Wu-Tang Wu-Tang forever Crocs and it had the big Wu-Tang widget on it but you know or is it Gidget Fidget, whatever them things is called, it fell off. So that's what I do because you know, you can get you, I can step into these things soaking wet and it's not gonna affect the shoe. And what I do is when it gets cold, I just put socks on because then, you know, I wear the socks for the day, throw them in the hamper, pull out another pair of socks. And then they're really, really easy to clean. All I gotta do is take a Clorox wipe and wipe around and wipe on the inside. Or, you know, I could st stick them in a the bathtub and you know, spray them, spray them down and hose them down with some hot water. Very easy. This kind of shoe, not so much. However, I wanted to look at the dupe because I actually have the Ugg Tasman to compare it to because, you know, I like Uggs, but, you know, just maybe not as a house shoe. Even though they're comfy as hell as a house shoe and they probably feel all warm and nice and you got the, the you know, the lamb skin in the inside just warming your feet. But for me, I can't do that because it's just like, it's just too much. So I wear my Uggs outside. So then here's the Ugg. Now it's not the same exact color because again, I'm assuming because these things went super viral and all of the kids wanted them for holiday. This was the uh, color I was able to get, this bright ass color, but this is the same style that Steve Madden is trying to, you know, copy with their, with their shoe. Now the crazy thing is they're not that far off in price. So the Steve Madden shoe is $69.95 and the Ugg is $110. So that's a $40 difference. So let's, let's try them on and see if that $40 difference makes a difference. All right, getting these on. That is a little bit of a platform to these. Sometimes I trip over my feet when I have my Crocs on in the house. I know for sure I would trip over my feet. Ooh, the inside feels amazing. The inside feels like a mattress with a nice faux fur throw, just caressing and squeezing and gently hugging your body. Like it feels like a mattress and a hug. Like it, ooh, wow. These feel so comfortable. I don't know, I can't justify them though, but they do, I do see, well, I'm gonna try on the Ugg pair in a second, but I do see where people would be like, oh my God, wow. All right, let's get the Ugg on and compare. Wow, that felt, that felt amazing. That felt like a nice hug. Now the Ugg ones, I was prepared to say it's just a $40 difference. Just get the Ugg Tasman slipper because of my previous experience with wearing Ugg. However, I cannot deny the fact that this Steve Madden version feels so much better on my foot. It just feels so much better. Like the Ugg feels like, where the Steve Madden feels like it, it's giving me a gentle hug, the Ugg kind of feels like it has me in a chokehold. 
<laughs> to, to the point where I'm like, did I buy my right size? Yeah, it's my size, ain't it? Where's the box? Yeah, this is my size, Ooh, size 10. And like I said, I'm a size 10 in damn near everything I wear. Like, I'm, I'm a 10. Ooh, wow, I gotta go with the Steve Madden ones with these. That's crazy. Now, the only thing though is that while the Steve Madden pair does have more of the fur inside than the Ugg ones do, I do wonder long term how they would hold up. I wonder if the Steve Madden one might start getting little, get little ball patches <laughs> on the inside and whatnot, but as of right now, right, right now, I would have to say that the Steve Madden pair wins by a lot. I would save the 40 bucks and get these. And then plus like if you've got multiple people that you're buying these for, like if you got a gaggle of kids, a gaggle of kids, you know what I mean? But you know, if you got, you know, your, your big family and they all want them, I would go with the Steve Madden one because you know, 40 times X amount of kids didn't say, that adds up. Anyway, you tell me your thoughts. You doing the Steve Madden? Are you doing the UGG? Let me know in the comments. Both of them will be linked in the description. All right, got a couple more pair. I'm telling you, the presentation on these is nicer than from what I remember. All right, Steve Madden. All right, so these are interesting because as I was looking for which shoes that I wanted to include in this video, um, I wanted to include things that were viral like the Ugg uh, Tasman dupes, but I also wanted to, you know, look at things that I kind of like. And I, I knew that these would be like a hit or miss when I actually got them, but they look, they still look kind of cool. I have a thing for raffia design shoes, especially, you know, obviously in the spring and the summertime because it just looks so nice nice with some of these like cult Gaia, like you can have on a cult Gaia-esque outfit. And this kind of looks like something cult Gaia would make, although maybe not as thick of a heel, but let's talk about which designer this is actually duping. So these are the Steve Madden Mai Tai in the color natural. These are $119.95. And the designer that they are duping is Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo has the Gal Wedge 130 embroidered raffia wedge sandals, which go for $700. $50 now. I like nice things. However, I also like, you know, nice money sitting in my investment accounts and stuff like that. So, you know, I could continue to have nice things as I, you know, go up there in age. <laughs> However, I ain't mad at a dupe. Now, I think these look similar-ish enough to the Jimmy Choo's. I don't think that people would be like, oh, she got on them Jimmy Choo's, depending on what you have on. Like if you dress it up kind of nice, you know, looking very resort, you might be able to do some things. Now, I clearly don't have the Jimmy Choo to compare it to, but let's try it on, see how it fits and, and whatnot. All right, I don't wanna have to go and get a pair of shorts. So I'm gonna try to hike up the jeans that I have on so that you can see the way that they twist up the leg, tie up the leg, I should say. Oh, it helps to have the other shoe, huh? Now, I'm, I don't think I've, I'm trying to think. I've, I've worn shoes that lace up um, pretty often. I don't think I've worn any that the straps to lace up were this thick. So this will be pretty interesting. Oh, the raffia part is kind of scratchy on the flat part of the foot. Oh, I'm not going like that. Oh, and how the heck do you? Okay, I think this is, oh wait, does it go back? This is confusing and I need to put a little bit more lotion on my feet. All right, I'm hoping this is how this is done. I like the height that it gives me. All right, let me put the other side on. Yeah, the raffia part on the right foot feels like it's digging into my skin a little bit. That is uncomfortable. Uh, because these are a platform though, I would say that these are gonna be relatively easy to walk in. You know, everybody got their skills with their heels and stuff like that. Heels. Excuse. Me, I'm pretty good in heels. It's just that I don't wanna wear them joints all day. I wouldn't wear these all day just cause just, that's just how I am. <laughs> After a little while, I'm gonna get tired of the air up here. But you know, if you're going out or, well, where else would you be going but out with shoes like this? <laughs> if you're going out and you're not gonna be out all day, I think these are fine. Like for like a date night or if you're on vacation and you're going to dinner, I think these will be fine. I just, oh. And see then stuff like that happens where the straps come undone. I believe there's some sort of hack for that. I'm gonna put it on the screen because I can't think of what the hack might be to get, you know, your shoes to stay laced up. I think these are cute, but not a keeper because that, like it's digging into my foot. That is not gonna be comfortable whatsoever, but I'm gonna be on the lookout and keep my eyes peeled for a shoe like this for spring, summer. However, I'm probably gonna do it without the lace up because ain't nobody got time for that. These are cute. What do you think of these? Would you buy these? Would you buy the Jimmy Choo? Jimmy Choo. <laughs> Would you buy these Steve Madden's? Would you buy the Jimmy Choo designer pair? Let me know in the comments. Both of them gonna be linked in the description. Not a thing. 
a shoe like this, I do like a flatbed sandal, right? However, the material on this does kind of confuse me because it's like, it's an open toe shoe that you would wear when it's warmer out. However, there's this furry material. It perplexes me. However, these are a dupe of two different designer creations so let's talk about it so these are the maven faux fur sandals this is the camel fabric i think this is the only color it comes in but the links to everything will be listed in the description box so you can see what colors and you know get the links you can buy it and whatnot this is 69 dollars and 95 cents however the designer version that it is is mimicking there's actually two like i said there's the alexander mcqueen fleece texture buckle fastening sandals which go for 730 dollars like alexander mcqueen i I believe I only have two McQueen pieces, a pair of boots and a jacket, both of which I got on super sale. Then it is also duping the Hermes Wolfskin Cyper. Oh, I had to look up how to pronounce that. You can say it as Shipra, Shipra. Shipra. That's fine, Shipra. Shipra, okay, we got it, Shipra. The Hermes Shipra sandal, which, you know, would that, would that retail for $650? Now, that's a lot of money. I would even venture to say that $69.95, was it sixty nine? Yeah, the $69.95 for the Steve Madden, I would also venture out to say that, you know, that's a lot of money too, because maybe it's my, you know, heavy stomping with the big dogs in New York City feet, but shoes like this tend to get worn down very easily for me. Uh, and, and, and it, it's a lot. And that's not even to say that if you go and spend the extra money on the designer version that, you know, all of a sudden you're gonna get some high quality shoe because some of these designers these days ain't shit even. They making stuff full flimsy and charging you top dollar for it. But let's try them on and see. All right, let's get the, oh, it feels nice going in. All right, they feel nice. Now I can kind of see why somebody would want to wear something like this because it does feel very comfy for it being an open toe shoe. It still doesn't make any sense to me weather wise i think this might be kind of like i'm hiking up the the pant leg here so you can see it a little bit better now don't mind my legs because you know i'm a little clumsy and they got a little banged up a little bit there but i could see these being like an la shoe because la is one place that i can think of that something like this might make sense so if you live someplace that has a climate tip uh, similar to la maybe that might be to go for you i just don't see how these would work in new york city maybe a, an around the house kind of thing you know lounge wear sort of thing these are cute they'll be linked in the description box would you try these are they not your thing are you also like me and very confused as to how these would even fit in in what season or are you an la person person way like <laughs> that's it let me know in the comments and these will be linked in the description along with everything else in this video we got a big one here <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> i'm loving the boxing the unboxing i should say of these so here we have some boots some interesting looking boots. Now I will say that these look better online than what i'm seeing in person because the distressing on it Looks like it's in distress. <laughs> it looks like somebody, you know, <sighs> I, it, it looks like an art project a little bit, but not in a good way. But other than that, the boot itself looks pretty good. I just don't like that, that design that's on here. So these are the Steve Madden Rocky boots in the color brown distressed. I believe this came in a couple of other colors. These were originally $189.95. I got them for $129.97. I don't know if that was a temporary sale or anything, but it'll be linked below so that you can check out, you know, what the price is now. Maybe it might be even less than the $129.97, who knows? But this is actually a dupe for the Mew Mew leather boots, which cost $2,550. Now, I am not an expert on how items are made, but looking at this poor man's art project here, I would assume that maybe the Mew Mew boots are like hand, whatever this this kind of like, I don't know if they just uh, use a stippler or something like that with this to make this design. Uh, this looks like a machine made it. And I'm gonna assume maybe like the Mew Mew ones. Um, well, obviously the Mew Mew ones are probably real leather, but that maybe they did the design by hand. I don't know, maybe that's why they cost so much. I don't have them here to, to compare, but they, these look quite similar to them. Let's go try them on. Now, the thing with these, you do need to unbuckle them to get them on and then, you know, buckle them. Well, sometimes I leave boots like this unbuckled. We'll see how it 
it looks and how it fits. But when I was trying to unbuckle one of the buckles to show you the design of a B-roll, one of the little grom grommets and the back wasn't stamped up. Who wasn't all the way stamped down properly and that could cause some injury so you got to be careful with these see th this this level of unbuckling is not what i'm trying to be on at all all right let's see now i can already see that this is going to be this might be a challenge to get on if you have wider calves my calf is i'd say i'd have a medium calf a regular calf I guess you can say. These are nice, they actually look pretty decent on. I'm dreading having to buckle, <sighs> buckle all of these, but I'm gonna do it for y'all. And as I'm doing this for y'all, hit that like button and subscribe and you know, to tell a friend, like there's this crazy lady on the internet, but her fashion videos are so fun. And she also has a lifestyle channel where she does vlogs. And she has a skincare channel where she gets your skin together. You know, you gotta check out all three of her channels, you know, let them know. All right, just on, the unbuckling and buckling back up alone. I'm taking like 20 points off for these shoes and I wasn't even giving the shoes scores in this video. Woo! This thing is giving me a, woo! ow! See, they gotta be careful before they also have, you know, us down as one of them lawsuits with all these faulty grommets. Come on. And then one of the buckles done buckled back. Okay, the right boot fits a little tighter than the left boot. That feels a little weird. I like these though. They feel comfortable on the feet, um, except there is a little, I don't know what it is. It's like a little, like right, this part right here on the boot on the right side feels a little bit tighter. It feels like maybe the inside is a little bit more narrow than the left side, which is, is quite weird. But they say that, you know, sometimes one foot is bigger than the other, sometimes slightly. I've not experienced that with shoes before, so I'm, I'm gonna think that this is a, a boot thing. These are cute. I would wear this, what would I wear this with? Like, I feel like the style is cute. Maybe I would wear this with like an asymmetrical hem dress. Handkerchief, what are they called? They call it a handkerchief neckline? I believe that's what it's called. A handkerchief neckline skirt. That would be cute. Or even like a mini skirt I would wear this with. You do have to be careful with how you style a boot like this because well I'm tall I'm five foot nine and you see in the separate cam where they stop they're not quite knee boots and they're taller than ankle boots so you have to kind of be careful how the horizontal lines hit you when you style this because it can make you you know look shorter and wider and if that's what you want to do great if that's not what you want to do that's not great <laughs> so just be mindful of the styling um eh, they're cute I wouldn't keep them but are they your cup of tea? Would you get these? Would you get the Mew Mews? Let me know in the comments and both of them will be linked in the description. Now, if you're looking to see even more dupes, you're gonna wanna check out this video right here. I thought somebody was finna to go to jail <laughs> over these dupes. Click on this video right here and I'll see you in it.